Well, new tonight, Governor Brian Kemp has promised 350 bucks one time, a one time payment to vulnerable Georgians to help them cope with the high inflation costs. Now, people enrolled in Medicaid, SNAP and TANF programs started receiving that money. But some are having trouble accessing the money and even spending it in stores. 11 Alive's Hope Ford joins us now to explain what's behind these issues with the payments, Hope. Yeah, well, the extra money was supposed to be a big help to Georgians, but some are telling me it's no help at all since they can't use the money the way they thought they could. 11 Alive received several emails from people frustrated over the $350 cash assistance from the Georgia government. One of those emails came yeah. from Paula Moore. Your cash assistance payment is available. Moore originally thought the cash assistance would be, well, cash. Then she found out it's not going to be cash per se. It's on a virtual card. So the 64 year old downloaded the virtual card to her phone, not realizing it's connected to her Apple Pay. And that's part of the problem. I went to Walmart, went to Sam's Club and Neither one of them accepted. Walmart and Sam's Club don't accept Apple Pay for in-store purchases. Not only that, but the cash assistance cannot be transferred through Cash App or Zelle, cannot be converted to cash, cannot be used at stores that don't accept digital pay. The virtual card may also be declined if a cashier runs it as the wrong type of transaction. With all those cannots, Moore's original plan for the money is another cannot. My radiator is fixed to be replaced, and I was going to use it to pay for that, but I can't do it. Moore wonders why the money wasn't sent by check or physical card. Yeah, then I could swipe it and use it. <laughs> the Department of Human Services tells us they use the virtual card option as the safest and most expeditious way to get funds to Georgians, and they do not have access to the bank accounts of customers. Moore thinks it's all too much trouble now, but feels for others in her senior living community. I'm a senior, but there are much older people here than I and they have no clue. As for the money on her card, it's still there, since she can't use it to pay her bills, fix her radiator, or get groceries at certain stores. Forget it. It's not worth the hassle. It didn't, it's no hide off me, so I'll just keep on doing what I do. <laughs> Now, for stores that don't accept Apple, Google, or Samsung Pay in store, DHS recommends using the card online at the store and selecting the option to have items delivered or picked up. Now, we asked DHS a lot of questions about the money, as well as different problems viewers brought up. I've compiled that list on our website, 11alive.com.